snapping guys that I'm going to put some gear oil into the gearbox obviously because I've been doing a little research I uh, took the battery tray out which I'll show you battery tray is in there, three bolts So at the moment I've been seeing online that the way to fill these this is an Astra H by the way, two thousand six model, uh one point six SXI. So there's no drain plug or anything in the gearbox thing this as far as I'm aware it's an F seventeen model. So what people have been saying is you have to take out the reverse sensor switch, which is this here. But I'm not too happy with the state that's in. And the rest I'm, I'm afraid if I take that out, it's just going to be an absolute nightmare to get back in. But it's been a kind of a 50-50 debate because this here, this is the... The, the, the breather plug, breather pipe, whatever you want to call it, for the selector. And a lot of people are saying what to do is to take that off and fill it from there. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to fill it up from there because that looks as if it's in a, a lot better, a lot better nick. Uh, so I'm going to take that off. But first I'm going to check the level. So I'm going to jack the car up, get the passenger side wheel off and get access to the side of the gearbox and I'll show you why I'm at. Hi, so that's me get the car jacked up. Uh, wheels off. Remember, always use axle stands, don't align the jack. And I've put the wheel under there just in case as well. Don't want to squish me in head. So, oh, what's happened here? Sensor's coming off. Right, anyway. So, as far as I'm aware, the levelling plug is in there, just right next to where that CV bit is, but it's a bit of a, bit of a dip to get to, so, what we're going to try and do, is it's in there. Behind this, behind this here. So, we need to get under the car. Ah, you see it there? That little ball. Right about there. See it? Just in the middle of the screen. The bolt there, I think it's a 13mm bolt. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to, again, I'm going to snap that off. I'm going to check and see how level is it, because I'm pretty sure my gearbox is running dry because it's making one hell of a noise. So we're going to take that. Not very good angles here guys, I'm sorry. But we're going to try and get that bolt off and we'll see how the level is once we drop it back down. Okie dokie, let's do this. So I've managed to get the breather cap off, but the only other problem I have is I can't get this bloody bolt out. Right. I cannot get to that bolt whatsoever. There's just there's no room at all, and I don't have a long spanner. I need a long 13 mil. Right, so as I said, I cannot get that bolt out for love no money. So. Oh, shit. The only other option I really have to get to see what oil's in here.
is to undo the sump pan and I really don't want to do that because I don't have a new gasket and I don't want to risk taking it off I've got gasket sealer there high high temperature gasket seal but I don't, I don't want to take this off and not put a gasket on it plus the sealer so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take that off but I'm 100% certain that that is gearbox oil that's leaking and it has been for weeks so I'm pretty sure it needs oil I'm just fucked for knowing how much to put in because <sighs> I can't get that bloody bolt out where is it? can't even see it from here right way up in there just there pain in the arse so this might be a short video absolute pain oh well right that's that back on filled up through the breather pipe could not get that level bolt off so I've just went in my gut where it's been leaking for so long and put 500ml of gear oil in I'll take it for a run, see what happens. Fingers crossed. Hey guys, gear oil's in. Car's been running for about five minutes. So, just going to take it a, a little spin. And we'll see if it's done any justice. is kind of us I think it's kind of a gone I'm just want to try and get it check it out there, done it a couple of weeks ago, uh, but the seal that I put on it kind of a failed, so done a wee check on it there, took the seal off, it's got a slight little leak, but uh, it's good, so we'll see how this gearbox is anyway. Right, wind goes up, listen for the whining, let's listen for the whining. Gear changes seem Smoothish. Yesterday and Friday when I was coming home from work on a motorway 
Take the sump plate off, completely drain all the oil out of it completely, and I'm going to max it to the 1.6 litres because I've got absolutely no idea how much oil was still left in it, if there was any left in it. So that's what I'm going to do. Heading back home now, guys. That's me. Tried everything that I can. Uh, I'll see if we're still getting a ticking when I park up. When I park up, it's really, really ticking. Uh, basically, sound like a diesel. And I'm pretty sure it was coming from the gearbox, so we shall see when we get to the driveway. Well, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.